something kind of uh, strange, important happened to me last night. I feel like someone just took a big bunch of sand and just threw it in my left eye. But I'm gonna show you the reality of this disease. Something kind of uh, strange, important happened to me last night. You guys aren't gonna believe this. So I finished our show yesterday and I am all on top of the world, right? This happened after my cutting board short. Yesterday we had a really great program. I tricked the whole chat and people in the lurkers lounge too. I tricked everybody by telling them that I was going to, for every right answer that they gave at whatever game we were playing, that they would win an entry into a raffle. As if I have the capability of doing that. I know that Streamlabs does it, but I don't know how to do Streamlabs. So we had a terrific program. So here I am fooling the whole chat. And I told them that I was gonna enter them into this raffle, you know. And so it was gonna be for a raffle for me to peanut butter cups. Because I have a whole bunch, or not a whole bunch, but I have, I have candy to send off to um, three of my dear friends and you know who you are. It was for a raffle for that. Well, you had to be in the chat and you had to be participating with the games I was playing, right? So uh, the games were, you know, like Family Feud and just, I, and I was giving any, everybody a point. Oh yeah, you get, a, you get an entry because you said, you know, you know, boo. <laughs> You know, everybody. And so then I'm standing there and then I said, oh my gosh, I need to finish my cutting board video. I had just finished my cutting board video and I was really proud with the content I had. I went to sit down and edit it. I started feeling like something's not right. You know, I'm just not feeling right. You know, and I just thought it, you know, it was just me, you know, being fatigued because I was all out of my spoons of energy. And so then I got up to the counter and I'm standing there. And then if it didn't feel like someone just took a big bunch of sand and just threw it in my left eye, lickety split that fast. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And so I started freaking out and I'm going into the, I, I literally have my head under the sink faucet and I'm, you know, with the water and I'm in the bath, you know, I ran to the bathroom. So I'm, you know, under there like this and it's feeling really weird because you know how like, you know, when you're showering and stuff and you get soap in your eye, not soap, but water in your eye, it doesn't feel, you know, rough. Rough is the word. And so I was feeling rough feeling roughed up a bit. I literally started lifting up my eyelid and then throwing water up there, you know, and, you know, and I'm trying to get, you know, I, I was just ridiculous. I, I turned, I was a contortionist. That's right, I was a contortionist for a little while. Nothing was getting better. It's something that just, it, we all have our faults. And so then I'm literally, you know, shooting water up through up into my eye and if anything was in there it was washed out three or four times over i'm like and this was not just for like a, a couple of minutes type thing this was going on for an hour and i would feel the water and and it was getting in this eye too and so and it was feeling different in this eye than this eye and so that's how i know this every couple of hours i'm having to it still feels like i have a bunch of sand in my eye and it's because i have an optic nerve that is damaged from my ms see most of you look at me and think that oh she's just fine but i may look like i'm physically okay but it, it's hidden most of my problems are cognitive or in my feet and especially in the night, evening and night 
don't worry about it. Because what's happening, this eye is not producing moisture, tears. So every couple of hours I'm having to put in the artificial tears. And I've had this before, but not to this extent. And what's happening is it's a MS attack. If this goes on for another 10 to 12 hours, then I need to get up to the hospital. The ER here is not what the ER is like typically everywhere else. I never have to wait. They just bring me right back. And there's always a room and there's never a wait. And then, um, and then when they hospitalize you, oh my gosh. Um, there are no shared rooms. The food is prepared for, prepared by chefs, like with the hats and everything, you know, the big tall hats, you know, like, you know, <laughs> if I have to go in, I may have to stay for a little bit and get a, a treatment that's called solumendrol. I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna show you the reality of this disease. It's not just a face that has some makeup on and, you know, got out of the shower and did that to her hair and then sprayed in through her headband on. It's not. I'm gonna show you what this disease is capable of. I wasn't gonna do this. And oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna do this. I have no, you know what? I probably should put some drops in. I wasn't gonna do that and I'm very embarrassed that I did. You won't get pity from me, but you will get a lot of love and compassion. That's what I, yeah, I'm not looking for pity. I, you know what, and I don't want pity. I don't want it. That's not what I want. I want my friends. And I love my friends. You guys are my social life. It feels like, well, I don't have any natural moisture in there. And it feels like somebody took a handful of sand and just shoved it in my eye. The eyelids feel like little needles are stabbing it at times. Not all the time, just at times. I'm not feeling that great. Hey, and please, Please share this out because this to me is a very, very important video. You know, the hugs are all fun and everything like that too. And I would appreciate the shares. And watch Calamity Girl. Thanks guys. Bye.